The classic mean value theorem of Lagrange is very important if we try to optimize functions on intervals. Well, what does it say? Well, suppose we have a graph of a function f and we draw a line between AFA and BFB, then this line has a certain slope, right? So, uh, well, the mean value theorem says, under some conditions, if the function is differentiable enough, that there should be a C according to which the slope of the tangent line equals the slope of the yellow line between AFA and BFB. So, more exactly, so more precisely, let f be a function defined on an interval such that it is continuous and uh, differentiable on the open interval a, b. Yeah, then the statement is then that there should be a c in a, b. There is a C in AB, yeah, in between A and B, such that the slope of the tangent line, which is given by the derivative in C, equals the slope of the yellow line segment. And the slope of the yellow line segment is, is given by FB minus FA, the change in Y variable, divided by the change in X variable, is which, is, which equals B minus A. Well, a proof goes as follows. We will exploit the results that we derived before. That is called Roller's theorem. So, first of all, we're going to look at the equation of the line through a f a and b f b so equation of the line of the the yellow line segment and this is given by y minus f a equals the slope of the line which is f b minus f a times divided by b minus a times x minus a yeah so we derive that y equals f a plus the slope, which is again fb minus fa divided by b minus a times x minus a. And this is the connection between the x value and the y value. Now we define a help function in which we try to... So we have a function y, a y as a function of x, and we have the function fx. So now we define a help function, h of x, which is merely the difference between the function value and uh, so the blue line and the yellow line segment. So this is fx minus fa minus fb minus fa divided by b minus a times x minus a. Yeah, so what we subtract, uh, subtract is the yellow piece, so y equals fa plus the slope of the line segment times x minus a. Well, what do we know of this function h? Well, first of all, it's continuous, because fx is continuous, and of course, the linear function is also continuous. So h is continuous on the interval a, b. Moreover, h is just as differentiable as f is. So uh, as the linear part is just differentiable on the whole interval AB, open interval AB and F is, then the difference is also differentiable on the open interval AB. Now look what happens if we plug in, substitute the value A. Well, if we substitute the value A, then we get HA equals FA minus FA minus fb minus fa divided by b minus a times a minus a. So there's a lot of terms cancelling here. fa against fa. And of course a minus a equals zero. So h of a equals zero. Now what happens if we plug in b? Then we get, we get, we obtain fb minus fa, 
minus fb minus fa divided by b minus a times b minus a. So a numerator the denominator cancel and uh, fb minus fa we subtract fb minus fa which equals zero. Now what Roller says is that we apply a Roller to the function h. There should be an c in between a and b such that h prime c equals zero. So the derivative of h should be zero somewhere. I'll now calculate the derivative of h. Well, the derivative of h is no more than the derivative of f and the derivative of the linear piece that we subtracted from, from f. And this equals fb minus fa divided by b minus a. Now substitute c and we obtain h prime c equals 0 or f prime c equals fb minus fa divided by b minus a. And this is just what we needed to show.